family benefiting over 3,500 individuals in about 12 to 15 villages of Union Council in Sharakana. The project will accomplish its objective over a period of 18 months with a total cost of US dollars $17,781. So you can see in both the projects, the first one will cost $28,900 and the second project $17,781. So that means in one union council, the total amount will be $46,681 and when you multiply this all with the 10, uh, with the 10, it, is, it, go, it goes up to $431,000. So basically, that's for all 10 union councils. And today, inshallah, we are here basically to raise funds for at least one union council. And starting with this uh, microfinance program, where inshallah, we are going to give this interest free loans to 100 beneficiaries. Uh, the amount is $28,900, inshallah. Let us, alhamdulillah, first of all, say everyone, alhamdulillah, I learned this uh, from one of uh, the brother, mashallah, to whom I saw raising funds, and I really, really, uh, I mean, I loved it the way he said it. He said the first thing we all do is we say "A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar Say everybody, "A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar This is the reason. The reason is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is telling Himself to us, "Ash-shaytan yaidukum al-fakr." Ash-shaytan yaidukum al-fakr. Wallahu yaidukum maqfrata minu wa fadl. Now shaitan's job is, now the time of spending works, now immediately he will come and start whispering in our minds, oh you have this bill, that bill, you have to pay, the economy is bad and all this. So he, he had, this is his job. Now Allah is saying, don't look at him, don't listen to him, look at me, what I'm going to do with you, I'm going to forgive your sins and I will shower upon you the blessings. And subhanAllah, we really don't have time. And mashallah, Sheikh is here, and our Sheikh is here. There are numerous ayahs, starting from Surah Al-Baqarah, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ مُوَالَهُمْ وَمِمَّا ذَقَلَهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Starting, the, who, what are the signs of the Muttaqeen people? That is spent, and go all the way to Surah Al-Nas. Hundreds of times, different way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has exhorted us. And the hadith of Surah Al-Salaam, numerous. Numerous, subhanAllah. And again, it doesn't matter, my dear brothers and sisters, that we have to give a lot. Allah knows what is our capacity and how much can we really do. And as the Imam Bilal said, inshallah, I'm also of the same opinion. Let us give each one of us no matter even a quarter. But do it, inshallah, because Allah knows our situation. So let us try to, inshallah, hit this first target, you know, of raising $28,900 for the 100 beneficiary, where, inshallah, about six to 700 people will benefit. because. Normally, in average, in rural areas, people have six to seven family members. That means, if we are able to really help one person, you know, start his business and start earning, alhamdulillah, that means that one family is on their feet. Because Islam is not of the opinion of making people better. Because when someone gets the loans, it's an honorable thing. It's a respectable thing. There's accountability. There's, there is a... Uh, transparency, there is honor, there is respect because he got his loan, he will, he will take care of it, he will use it and then he will pay back. So now nobody is uh, on top of his head that anybody has done any ihsan to him. Alhamdulillah. And you get the ajr, how much ajr? 18 times. In Hadith of Nimadha, subhanAllah, Nabi Sallallahu said that a man was entering into Jannah and he saw on the one of the door of the Jannah that the people who give sadaqah, they get 10 times ajr. But the people who give qard hasna they get 18 times. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa himself couldn't understand why it is so. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Ibrahim, Ibrahim, I don't understand. How come? Then he said, the people to whom we give the kharat, the charity, normally it is possible. They already have in their houses something, but they accept it anyway. But the qars, one only asks when he is really in a dire need. And when someone comes at that time and helps out with the khas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it the most. That's why the ajr is much more than giving a regular sadhka, subhanAllah. And moreover, if we give a hundred dollars, it's not hundred dollars because that money is going to be used back and forth. The brother who used it, he gave it back, now I give to this brother, now it goes to that brother, now it goes to their sister, now it goes to their sister. Now how many people do you think 
will benefit of that hundred dollars that could be multiplied up to maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars of Allah knows the best inshallah because the time of slides close inshallah let us start inshallah let's be you know like the one who are you can say about whom Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said you know like there are people who start some good sunnah and the people follow them they are the ones who get all the ajr who follows subhanallah the forerunners alhamdulillah be one of those inshallah I want someone, inshallah, who can raise fund her hands and say, tell me who can give me $5,000 or more. I mean, you can give 10, 20, or you can fill all this uh, project up to you. So that's why upper limit is nothing. But lower, I have to set some to start with. This is the way, alhamdulillah, we do our fundraising. Any brother or any sister, inshallah, who does this, let's do quickly, because Imam said the slide is 7.30. So we better leave from here 7.25. And uh, do the salah, and the dinner is afterwards, right? After salah, yes. people can come back, inshallah. We have arrangement for the dinner. Rather, you might have to take home as well because the, the dinner is more than the people are here. So, inshallah, you can take for your families as well. Alhamdulillah. Okay, any brother or sister, inshallah, who can help me with $5,000 or more, inshallah, as this toward this project. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you, inshallah, as this. If uh, you can do that, fine, inshallah. So, at least I just want you to know anybody who came with this intention. If not, alhamdulillah, let's lower down our bar, inshallah. Let's go for $2,500 or more, inshallah. $2,500 or more. Any brother, any sister, inshallah, who can help us with $2,500, inshallah. You can see that how many brothers and sisters can benefit, inshallah. The sisters, they can learn these, uh, these, these skills and can become a very useful and beneficial member of their family and can help their children to really go to the schools and, uh, you know, wear the clothing and eat every day, alhamdulillah. <coughs> Excuse me. If not, inshallah, let's go to thousand dollars. I think there has to be more people, inshallah. We can we can do that, alhamdulillah. Thousand dollars, any brother, any sister, inshallah, who can give me one thousand dollars, alhamdulillah. Any brother, any sister, inshallah. Just think, my dear brother and sister, alhamdulillah, as the Imam said, inshallah, Aziz, the best of Christ, the one when we ourselves are in a situation, that is Allah Jalla Shanu loves the most. Subhanallah, we have to feel the pain to give it with the hope, no matter how poor we are in America, still, alhamdulillah, we have predators, we have TVs, we have small cars, you know, all those things which in uh, third world countries people think are the luxuries, we have just as our basic needs, alhamdulillah, in this country. We are blessed, alhamdulillah. And we should not forget that all those brothers and sisters, inshallah, they have right in our wall. It is not only zakat, it is not only zakat, Allah says, and the Nabi, of Allah, the Nabi of Allah says that there is more rights in the amwal of the people than the zakat only. So inshallah, let's, let's come forward inshallah if we can do 1,000. If not 1,000, let's make $500 inshallah. Let's start somebody with inshallah. $500, I think, Jazakallah khair. We have one brother with $500. MashaAllah, say takbir. Allahu Akbar. Say Lordi, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. We need to make dua for him and for his family, inshallah, for his business, because this is the sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself tells Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when these people give, make dua to them, inshallah. So we do the sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we make dua for his brother, inshallah, for his health, for his family, that may Allah put a lot of barakah, inshallah. Say Ameen. Ameen. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Jazakallah uh, khair, I'll say just a few words, inshallah. Uh, when we start some righteous things, we start it from our own selves. Uh, inshallah, I'll participate myself, Allah. I hope uh, my wife, inshallah, will be with me. And I won't be getting a beat up at home. <laughs> uh, inshallah, 500, Allah, from uh, myself as well, inshallah ta'ala. And uh, I want every brother and, and sister here to participate, no matter if it is less or more. It uh, doesn't matter how much you participate with, as long as you are participating. Uh, because at the Day of Judgment, we are firmly believing in that we are going to meet our Lord and face Him. And uh, I have learned this hadith when I was a uh, kid. And then I have learned that the same hadith is narrated in Bible, in Injil, in Torah, uh, with different words. It's uh, almost similar that, O oh, Ibn Adam, O oh, human, 
I was hungry and you did not feed me. And Ibn Adam, human, would say out of uh, amazement, O oh my Lord, O oh Lord of Al Alameen, O oh the cherisher of Al Alameen, all worlds, how come you become hungry? And Almighty Allah would reply that such and such human was hungry. If you have fed him, you would have met me there. And the hadith is long. I was thirsty. And I needed clothes. So, remember, you are helping your brothers, your sisters. In fact, and indeed, we are helping ourselves by Allah. We are helping ourselves. So I would urge everyone to please participate as much as you can. One more uh, story which inspires me all the time. When Prophet Sallallahu was moving towards Tabuk, and this was very hard time financially upon Prophet Sallallahu and upon Muslims. And he said, whatever you can, forget how much, whatever you can, bring it. They were under drought for, I believe, consecutive three years. Medina, and people of Medina, we know, they, they used to live on farming. They were under drought for consecutive three years. One Ansari, one farmer, who came to Prophet ﷺ, in his both hands were few counted dates. And uh, when Munafiqeen saw him, they start mocking him and Prophet ﷺ. Muhammad is thinking to conquer Roma with these dates. And by Allah, you know what happened in Tariq. Muhammad ﷺ, Fidahu Nafsi wa Abi wa Ummi, and his followers, they did. But it wasn't dates, it was ikhlas, again the same thing. And when those dates brought up to Prophet ﷺ and he saw tears in the eyes of that Ansari, and th that tears were telling him everything, that, O oh Messenger of Allah, that's what I have. I cannot bring more. And Prophet of Allah heard what Munafiqeen also said. He took those dates, few dates, and spread it on all the pile-up nafaqat in the corner of masjid and said, By Allah, these few days are much more heavier in the scale of Allah than all what we have here. So, I would like to urge you, give whatever you can. and try not to leave without giving. And uh, one thing I have learned from, again, a hadith from Quran, as long as you are giving, Almighty Allah take care of you, of your needs. You are giving for His sake, multiplying it, yes, we know. 700 times we know, even more. It's not 700 times, it's not the maximum limit. Ila Masha Allah, as goes in the hadith. So try to, for Allah's sake, as much as you can. And uh, if Brother Yusuf, you can give us some. All of them. Yes. Uh, please. And give mine to my wife. <laughs> Anything uh, you can, inshallah, don't live without giving. And uh, inshallah, I can tell you one thing that you are going to find Allah as well as His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is going to be our witness. And وَيَوْمَ نَبْعَثُ فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ شَهِيدًا وَجِئْنَا بِكَ شَهِيدًا عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ he is going to witness for us 
And uh, just remember one thing, and I'll uh, give back the, the microphone uh, to, to Hafsaq, who is doing, mashallah, a wonderful job. Ma indakum yanfat wa ma indallahi ba'ad. What you have is temporary. It's going to finish. It's going to end. What Allah has will remain and render forever. Jazakumullah khairan jazakumullah. So inshallah brothers and sisters, we are very very little thank you inshallah you have been given this the platform. Just pick up inshallah I would urge you to just do now whatever you can inshallah this. 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, whatever. If you have brought your text inshallah write the name of helping and USA. And give to Brother Yusuf, or uh, if you have got cash, that you can also give it to him. He has uh, some box tag over there. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, as Imam said, Mashallah, Aziz, that's very, very important that we all must, Inshallah, put in something, whatever we can, we should not leave. And these are the times, Inshallah, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciates more that there are a handful of people in this hall. But Alhamdulillah, they had the concern, they had the fear, they had the gum of their brothers and sisters who are there. Inshallah, thinking that we will be helping Inshallah with this because this project has come to the Muslims of the United States of America. This is not for some other country. This has been prepared by our Pakistan office for us. Alhamdulillah, we have a full-fledged, uh, you know, program there. We have hired a director of market financing over there, and we have our offices in Islamabad. We have our people working in the field, as Imam said. It is not that we have to, uh, you know, lie on others. Alhamdulillah, we have, uh, you know, enough people, you know, all over the places where we, whatever we get, inshallah, we keep all that on, alhamdulillah. You can always go to our website, shrd.org, and check our auditing balance sheets. Auditing balance sheets of previous years. So we don't even hide a single penny. Anything and everything we collect, you can always go and find over there, alhamdulillah. That is why one of the reasons, Alhamdulillah, I joined this organization and I feel very proud. Uh, and I'd like to share with you this one short story. When this thing happened in the last week of July, and I remember the first, uh, I think it was first week of August, uh, 